Kia ora, good morning everyone, Rich Wong here, welcome back to the channel. If you are a Panasonic mirrorless camera user, you will probably know that Panasonic has a software called Lumix Tether, which is a free software and works with most of their mirrorless cameras, both the micro four thirds and the full frame l cameras. Basically, pretty much any new camera from G9 onwards are supported by this software. There used to be two versions of the Lumix Tether software. One is Lumix Tether for multi-cam, which is for tether shooting and support controlling multiple cameras. And another one is Lumix Tether for streaming, which is a slightly modified version and the output from this version is suitable for live streaming use. I have created a video on this channel previously that covers the Lumix Tether for streaming software when it was originally released. But since then, Panasonic has merged them into just one software and it is now called Lumix Tether. So Panasonic has just released the new 2.3 version which supports some new features. So I want to do a quick video to show you the new features in this latest version. If you have never used the Lumix Tether software before, I would suggest you to check out my original video that go through the Lumix Tether software. But anyway, let me give you a very quick introduction. So the first thing you need to do is go to Panasonic's website and download the software. There's a version for Mac and version for Windows. I put a link in the description below. And after you download it, install the software, launch it, and then you connect the camera to your computer using a USB to USB cable. Yes, you need a USB cable, not a HDMI cable and not a HDMI to USB cable. And then you turn on your camera and make sure the USB setting on the camera is set to PC Tether. Okay, so once you have set up your camera and have it connected to your computer, within maybe 10 seconds or so, then the Lumix Tether software should detect the camera that you connected. And now you can see the main user interface of the Lumix Tether app. And just in case you have never used this software before, let me give you a very quick overview of this software. So on this main control UI here, this is the LV, the live view button. Click on it will allow you to see the live view footage from the camera that you connected. And then the camera button next to it, if you press it, then you will see the camera or the cameras that are connected and detected by the software. So right now I only have my S5 connected right now. And then below it, we have the button for you to take a photo. Smile. <laughs> and then you see the preview here and you can also use it to record video as well. So you can use this software to either record video or take photo and you have many different controls here that most of them you can control it here from the software and some of them you can't control because for example the A because it is a there's a hardware switch on the camera so you can't change it from here but anything else for example the aperture you can change it to any of the value you want from the menu here and then you will apply to the camera automatically and immediately and then at the bottom here we have two more buttons one is fresh so if you are a photographer and using external flash, so this is the place for you to change the settings for your external camera flash. Right now, I don't have any camera flash attached it, so it's not really useful for me right now. And we have the setting here. So this one is when you're doing tether shooting, you can configure whether you want the photo or video to be saved just on the memory card on the camera or both the camera and your computer or just to the computer and then there are many other settings as well on the right side here on the live view panel we also have many different settings here that you can trigger enable different kind of on-screen display and you can even zoom in if you want to look at the scene and check the details very carefully 
And if you're using a power zoom lens, then you can use the zoom button here to change the power zoom on your lens. And this one is also very important, live view quality. If you want to have very nice sharp preview, then make sure you choose fine here. And if you want to do live streaming, you should click this button here because when you click this button, then it will hide the control panel on the side and also it would hide the autofocus uh, rectangular box as well. So the output is now suitable for doing live streaming. But if you have some other on-screen display enabled, for example, if you enable the grid, then it will still be enabled and shown in this screen. So you have to manually hide those if you want to use this output for live streaming. You can connect up to 12 supported camera to the Lumix Tether software at the same time. And let me connect my second camera now. So I just turned on my GH6 and what I need to do is click this update button and then it should detect the second camera. Okay, now you see it detect both cameras. And now you can choose between which camera you want to control by using this camera window here. So now I switch to the GH6 and now switch back to the S5. One of the new features that comes with the version 2.3 is that you can now have the live view from multiple cameras displayed on the screen at the same time. So previously, you can toggle between them, but at the same time, you can only see the live view from one camera. But now you can see multiple at the same time, which is very, very useful if you're shooting with multiple cameras. So to do that, first thing is, make sure you have the eye icon enabled for all the cameras. And then you can click this button here. And once you click that, then you can see the live view feed from both camera. And if you want to switch back and see the live view of just one single camera, you can just click this button again and it will go back to the single display mode. So let's go back to the multi mode because I like that view a lot more. If I shoot with multiple cameras, no matter I'm doing photography or videography, I would definitely prefer to use this mode. And another thing you can now do is you can control the settings of multiple cameras at the same time from the user interface. So that allows you to change the settings very quickly and apply to all the cameras. So to do that, make sure you have the tick icon also selected for all your cameras. And now you can, for example, adjust the exposure compensation and then you can see it's got a pry to both cameras and make it dark, right? That would apply to all the cameras. Now, it's not just exposure compensation, pretty much all the settings you can change here would also work for all the camera connected. There's one thing I want to mention to you guys is for example, if I want to change the aperture and I have the S5 and I click the aperture change uh, box and because I have the 24mm f1.8 lens attached to it, so you can see the maximum aperture I can select is f1.8. But if I apply f1.8, it would only get applied to the S5 because the GH6 maximum aperture is f2.8 with that Leica 12 to 60 mil lens. So instead of picking the closest possible value for the GH6, it just wouldn't change the setting on the GH6 at all. So that's something you have to be a bit careful when you are changing settings and you have multiple cameras with different lenses or maybe different ISO range limit and you want to choose some setting that is outside the limit of one of the camera. But apart from that, everything is very straightforward and very easy to use. Okay, so this is a very quick overview of the latest Lumix Tether software. If you have any questions about this software, 
please drop a comment below and I will try to answer. And while this software can also technically be used to output video and used as a webcam, it does involve additional setup. So if you only want to use your Lumix camera as a webcam, you should check out this video, which is a much simpler solution.